afternoon. Fifteen months ago, the Obama administration released Opening Doors, the nation's first ever uh, strategic plan to prevent and end homelessness for all populations. And over the last year, we've had unprecedented collaboration from federal agencies with one another, with state and local governments and nonprofits in our efforts to implement the plan. The federal government is truly laying the groundwork for future success through better collaboration, better data collection, better use of mainstream resources, and engaging our state and local communities in the plan's goals and strategies. Earlier this afternoon, Labor Secretary Hilda Solis hosted a conversation with her fellow cabinet secretaries, HUD Secretary Sean Donovan, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, and VA Secretary Eric Shinseki. D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray joined us along with two local D.C. families who joined us to talk about how we can achieve the federal goal of ending family homelessness by 2020. It was certainly a dynamic conversation with lots of sharing about what's working well locally and what improvements can be made here and across the country. One of the things that today's conversation emphasized was that ongoing economic uncertainties make it more important than ever that homelessness is an urgent problem. It's not only devastating to families and individuals who experience it, but it's costly to society as a whole. Years of research have documented significant cost savings for public systems when people with histories of homelessness stay, become stably housed. The evidence reinforces that ending homelessness is not only the right thing to do, but it's the smart thing to do. And now more than ever, we have a sense of urgency to work with Congress, mayors, governors, legislatures, tribes, nonprofits, faith-based and community organizations, as well as our business and philanthropic leaders across the country to ensure that everyone has an affordable, safe, stable place to call home. So today I want to start this um, by thanking the leadership um, and the team uh, at HUD for uh, their work, particularly Secretary Donovan, um, because they've been our strong partner in our work in this administration. I'm going to uh, turn this over to Secretary Donovan because we have a very exciting milestone um, that we have achieved and I'd like to have the good news shared with everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank, for, thank you for your magnificent work uh, over a long career focused on, on homelessness. And we're so lucky to have you serving in your role as uh, the head of the Interagency Council. Thanks for your leadership. Give a round. As Barbara said, we are gathered here to celebrate a remarkable, remarkable milestone. One that I think it's fair to say uh, many of us never expected to be celebrating. And that is, uh, and I am so proud to announce today, that we have reached one million people around this country who've been served by the Homeless Prevention and Rapid Rehousing Program, uh, part of President Obama's Recovery Act. And it's, uh, it's so easy to, to use that number. It rolls off the tongue uh, so easily. But uh, it really was brought home to me today uh, as we met uh, Ruth, a young mother, a 22-year-old mother, who is working two jobs uh, in college, supporting her two young children. Uh, and the only reason that she was able to make that leap is because HPRP was there to help her make that step. Uh, it helped her find a uh, community of hope. It helped her uh, launch herself on this path uh, that never would have been available without this new flexible resource that was created uh, under the Recovery Act. And so uh, it is a great, great accomplishment. And I want to start by thanking all of my colleagues in the Obama administration that were here earlier. Uh, 19 different agencies that have made this interagency council work. I want to thank Barbara and her team. I particularly want to say thank you to my team at HUD. And uh, we're joined by Mercedes Marquez, who is the Assistant Secretary for Community Planning and Development, who has been a wonderful champion for this effort. Uh, I have to say to Mark Johnston, to Anna Leva, who have provided, provided uh, over uh, a long period of time the most remarkable leadership that I think HUD has ever had, uh, specifically focused on the, on the homeless programs. They've done just wonderful, wonderful work. 
And I'm so happy uh, that Susan Ziff, Tammy Upchurch, and Caroline Fernandez are here to be part of this celebration as well. Uh, you three made this program possible, literally uh, something that had never been done before, set up uh, in an uh, enormous hurry to get assistance onto the street as quickly as possible. Um, we would have been happy with half a million people that we'd reached. Today we're celebrating a million people thanks to your remarkable work. So thank you all. Congratulations. But I also have to recognize, as we're here at the Community of Hope, that this is about a broader partnership as well. It's not just about government. Uh, what has been remarkable about this effort is it has engaged nonprofits, uh, local government, state government, in ways, in a new kind of partnership and in ways uh, that we never had before. And that is remarkably, remarkably uh, important. And without your help, uh, Kelly, thank you for hosting us here today. More importantly, thank you for your partnership uh, on this. We never would have been uh, here without the remarkable partnerships out in communities. Uh, a million people who, without what you have done in partnership with uh, all levels of government, would be sleeping on our streets, sleeping in their cars, doubled up uh, for months at a time uh, with family members, uh, or uh, members of their churches or, or other even perfect strangers in some cases uh, that have taken people in because of the economic times that, that we face. Uh, so it is remarkably important work. Um, the data shows us that 94% of the people assisted by HPRP successfully found permanent housing and nearly two out of every three of them were homeless for less than a month. So not just is this about uh, getting the right uh, outcome for families, it's about how remarkably quickly we did that uh, as, as partners. Three out of the four, every four people assisted by the program uh, were part of our homeless prevention effort. And what does that mean? That means they actually never set foot in a shelter. That means that they never had to uh, sleep on a street before they got the help they needed to be stably housed. That is critically important, and that represents what is a fundamental shift in our approach to homelessness. The, the best thing we can do for a young child is to make sure they're never homeless in the first place. Uh, what happens to them uh, when they're in a shelter, when they're on the streets, uh, how can they continue with their schoolwork? Uh, the costs to them, the cost to society of them falling into homelessness or of remaining for years at a time in a shelter uh, uh, are incalculable. And so while a billion and a half dollars is a significant uh, investment, it has paid dividends in remarkable ways. It has more than paid for itself many times over. Uh, this is something that has not just changed family lives, but as I've uh, begun to lay out, it's changed the homeless system itself. It's changed the response. Uh, the U.S. Conference of Mayors said, quote, that HPRP had fundamentally changed the approach of mayors to homelessness by shifting towards this prevention model. Uh, they know now, mayors across this country, Mayor Gray was here, uh, and we heard this directly from him, that the revolving door of shelters, emergency rooms, prisons, um, is not only the worst thing we can do to help individuals and families get back on their feet, it's also the worst thing we can do for the taxpayer. And we need to make sure that this new approach of preventing homelessness before it happens, of catching the homeless and helping them into uh, permanent housing as quickly as possible, is the approach that we take going forward. And with HPRP, we fundamentally changed uh, that approach and have a new beginning, if you will, uh, to the way this country approaches homelessness. And it's one of the things that made it possible for President Obama to stand up and say, no more talk about managing homelessness, no more putting a Band-Aid on it. We are going to end homelessness, uh, end homelessness for veterans and chronically homeless by 2015, for families and children by 2020. Uh, what it has told us is that when we act together as one nation and one people, pushing ourselves to innovate and try every new idea that works, just as President Obama said 
uh, last Thursday in front of Congress. No matter whose idea it is, no matter where it comes from, there is no challenge that we can't meet as a nation. One million men, women, and children who the Recovery Act saved from homelessness are a testament to that spirit of partnership and of an American spirit of we can do anything we put our, our minds to. So thank you. Uh, together we will solve one of the greatest challenges this country faces. Thank you for the remarkable work, every single one of you that's been part of it. Uh, so proud to be here today. And I would be happy to take any questions if there are any. Uh, otherwise, I'd be happy to celebrate with all of you this remarkable milestone. Congratulations.